Welcome to Teacher G's class. Our lesson for today is identifying real or make-believe images. Our MELC for this lesson to identify real or make-believe fact or non-fact images. What's new? Let's listen to the short story. Bea lives in the small barangay of Santa Rita in the town of Oton. Every day, she wakes up early to go to the farm and feed their family's carabao. That day, after her morning routine, she decided to drop by her favorite spot by the pond. She sat down for a couple of minutes and talked to her reflection in the water. Her nanay had once told about the diwata appearing in the water of the pond. Anybody who talks to her reflection by the water will see the diwata and can make a wish. So, Bea tried her luck. When Bea was about to open her mouth, a beautiful face appeared. Surely, not her own reflection. Because she wanted to prove that it was real, she rubbed her eyes again and again. To her dismay, when she looked at the water, the face suddenly disappeared. Bea was disappointed for missing her chance to talk to the Diwata. She went home as fast as she could and told her nanay about what happened. Now, let's look at these phrases. She wakes up early to go to the farm and feed their family's carabao. Talk to her reflection in the water. The pond, she rubbed her eyes again and again. These are the scenarios that exist in real life. Let's see these following phrases. Diwata appearing in the water of the pond. See the diwata and can make a wish. The face suddenly disappeared. These are the events that can never happen in real life. Reading books, listening to stories, and watching movies can bring us to a world of reality and fantasy. We encounter characters and events that may be true or just a make-believe. Real images. These are true. They are facts that can be proven. They can be experienced or witnessed by a person. Real images. When identifying statements that express reality, one should look into things, ideas, and events based on their real-life experiences using the five senses. Examples. Babies cry when they are hungry. There are seven days in a week. My grandmother is still alive at the age of 93. These are real images. While make-believe images have no existence, they are not true, they are in our imagination, they are non-fact and difficult to be proven. Make-believe images are created only in our minds. They are exaggerated most of the time that is why they are unbelievable to happen. Let's see this example. The tree talked to the boy. The fisherman caught a mountain of fish last night but still was penniless. What's more? Let's identify the picture if it's real or make-believe. Riding a motorcycle. Is it real or make-believe? The correct answer is... Real.
Now, let's have this one. Is it real or make-believe? The correct answer is make believe. Next, we have is it real or make believe? The correct answer is make believe. A mother carrying her child. Is it real or make-believe? The correct answer is... Real. Next we have is a ghost. Is it real or make-believe? The correct answer is make believe. And that is our activity. I know you did well. Great job! What have I learned? Real images are those that exist or present in the real world and not just merely products of imagination. While make-believe images are created by the mind and which do not exist in reality, they are developed to entertain people's eyes and mind. Always remember that real images are true and fact, while make-believe images are non-fact. This concludes our lesson for today. I hope you learned something from it. Once again, this is Teacher Gerald, and see you for another video lesson. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you and goodbye!